We were bad people. We yeah, were yeah. bad people. Oh, AV Club reported that the co-author of Courtney Love's memoir has sued the singer for over two hundred thousand dollars, claiming that she owes him for turning. No, you shut up into a full-length memoir. Stephen Hawking said that there may be a parallel universe in which Zane is still in one direction. He called the hypothetical universe heaven. The world video game Hall of Fame announced that this year's nominees include Pong, Legend of Zelda, and Super Mario Brothers. Not included? Talking to women. According to Bleacher Report, a rare Honus Wagner baseball card sold for $1.3 million at auction. And it looks Super dope in my bike spokes. This week, a man in Perry, Iowa was kicked out of a kindergarten recital after he protested the use of a Spanish translator. Here now to speak with us is protester Chuck Amway. English only USA! English only USA! Wait, wait, what are you protesting? What am I not protesting? For instance, have you been to an Applebee's lately? French fries? Ruby Tuesdays and steak fries! Ruby Tuesdays USA! Stop protesting stuff. Here's a Yelp review I wrote for Taco Bell. Give me a burger, USA. Your wife must be so annoyed. Damn straight she's annoyed. She got a Brazilian wax and I made her go back and get it all put back on. Bush only, USA. Bush only, USA. Check in with every, everybody. Mm-hmm. The person who banned the hashtag eggplant emoji didn't win the internet this week, but you know who did? This kid at his bar mitzvah who showed Nicki Minaj, he's all man. Mazel tov to you, bar mitzvah boy. You are now a manaconda. I'm Aton Cool Bike Spokes Levine. And I'm Taylor Todos Espanol America Ortega. And remember that if you want to tell us who you think won the internet this week, use the hashtag who won the internet. Because we were bad people.